Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool telephone. This is a duck telephone and this is George's telephone from California and he's got a note here and he's asking if we would please repair the quacker on his uh, duck telephone and so this is the initial checkout of this telephone and repair video so what we're going to do since we know that the telephone is in working condition but it happens to be the quacker we're going to go ahead and do some initial checks though on the whole telephone we know the light the eyes are lighting and that we have dial tone and if you watch the analyzer we're going to run through the numbers I'm going to end in a 2 I'm going to dial 2 and I'm going to transmit into the handset. And every time you see that red indicator light on the analyzer, it's 100% modulation. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have our ringer on for our quacking sound. And we're going to go ahead and ring the duck. And every time you see this red light flash, that means a ring cycle goes by. and he's not quacking. Now his eyes are lighting but there's no quacking sound. So we'll go ahead and answer the duck. Give you some dial tone. So now what we want to do is unplug the duck from the analyzer. We're going to go ahead and uh, troubleshoot this duck and so what I can do is start taking it apart. I'm going to get the line cords out of it. Okay, so now we're down to the uh, PC board that controls the quacking sound. And this gives you kind of a look at the PC board. Now what we're going to do is troubleshoot uh, the main PC board and the components. And we're going to kind of go from there and see what we've got and troubleshoot this out. So what we're going to do is uh, give you a little look at this board here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and troubleshoot this board out. So we're going to take a short break from the video and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and what we've done is we started troubleshooting this main PC board for the Quacker unit and we've located some uh, bad components that don't come up to uh, our specs. And so what we're going to do is we've already removed our components and we're going to install some new ones and I want to clean my soldering gun and I want to clean up our solder points where we're going to be installing our new
components. We're going to do that real quick here. And anything on this PC board could cause this duct not to quack. So just because we're replacing the components that we found were bad does not mean that's what always goes wrong with them. Uh, it could be anything on this board that would keep the duct from quacking on a ring cycle. So now what we want to do is we want to get our new components ready. and get them installed. Okay, so we have another one that we want to put in. Sometimes these can be pesky to put in. Get this in here in a second and get it soldered up and then we'll do some checks. video out but I gotta kinda look at it.
take another quick look at it. Okay, that looks good. So now what we want to do is we want to get rid of our old components, kind of move them out of the way. We want to make our connections for our duck and our line cord. And then we'll go ahead and plug him in. See if we got dial tone. We have dial tone. Now let's go ahead and ring him. Room. I'm going to put this on low because it has a low and high setting but a lot of times you can't really tell on the video and even in person uh, it doesn't make all that much difference so we'll see what it does. I'll let that go a couple times. Try that. Then I'm going to turn it up. It did increase it a little bit, whether the video can see it or not. I'll let it go two more times since that was the issue. Dial tone. Okay. So now that we know our duct has been repaired, what we can do is we can start putting our uh, PC board back together again. And like I said earlier in the video, just because we located some parts and replaced them, some components, does not mean that that's what that always is. Anything on this main PC board could keep this duct from quacking on a ring cycle. So it's not always the same issue. So now we can turn the duct over, the base unit. place the little component and put the screws back in. And now the duck has his quacker back. So George should be pretty happy about that. Not only will the lights on the eyes light, the LEDs, George will know when his uh, phone is ringing now. Okay. Go ahead and tuck our wires back in. We can do some final checks now. Okay, so let's go 
ahead and ring the duck again. Pick him up a little bit. Because he's actually on a towel. I'll let him go one more time since that was the issue. We'll walk through the numbers again. And in the two, I want to transmit into the handset so you can watch that red light on the analyzer. That's 100% modulation. So now, and his eyes are lighting, and they should flicker when we get a ring, so I'll ring him one more time. Okay. Let's do this. Let's move the duck over into a regular telephone line. Give you some dial tone. And we'll call, say, a time and temp number. Okay, so we'll call one other number. I'll call my number and it'll be busy. Okay, so now we can move the duck back over into the analyzer. And we'll do one final ring test. I want to let that go two more times. And I think I'll go one more. time. Now let that go one more time. Okay. So we know that the duck is uh, all happy again and He's been repaired. George uh, will be uh, using this duck now with the quacker sound working. <laughs> and so uh, it, these are cool ducks. People really like them. We repair a lot of different kinds of ducks here. And uh, they're just a really great telephone. And uh, lots of people really go for them. So they're just a really neat telephone novelty item. And uh, they're pretty cool. So this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. And you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.